A curve has equation y equals x cubed minus 5x squared. At two points on this curve, the rate of change of y with respect to x is 4. What that is saying is dy dx, that's the rate of change of y with respect to x, is equal to 4. Work out an equation in terms of x to represent this information. Give your answer in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are integers. So dy dx is going to be, starting with the x cubed, 3 comes down in front and multiplies, and we reduce the power by 1. Do the same thing for the negative 5x squared, 2 comes down in front and multiplies, and reduce the power from 2 to 1. So we want dy dx to be equal to 4, therefore 3x squared minus 10x is equal to 4, and so 3x squared minus 10x minus 4 is equal to 0. And that gives us that a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 10, and c is equal to negative 4. Hence, work out the two possible values of x. Give your answers to three significant figures. The three significant figures here is a bit of a clue that we're either going to use the formula or completing the square or something like that. So I'm going to use the formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from above, we have the values of a, b, and c to substitute in. So x is going to be 10, plus or minus. If we square negative 10, we get 100. Take away 4 times 3 times negative 4, all divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. Now, the way I always do this is that I work out what's under the square root next. So I've got 100 and the minus and the minus will make it into a plus. 4 times 3 times 4. And so that's 148 divided by 6. So let's get our values of x. So we have got 10 plus the square root of 148 divided by 6. And to three significant figures, that is 3.69. And then we want the negative one. So I can just go back and edit. So I can change the plus there into a minus, and that's negative 0.361. Both of those to three significant figures.